Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, we're going to review the Brotherhood of Steel kit, uh, which you can acquire by playing Season 5 and by reaching rank 35. But do have in mind that you will need a Fallout First subscription in order to claim it. So, let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so once again, in order to claim Brotherhood of Steel Kit, uh, you will need to play Season 5 and reach rank 35 and have a Fallout First subscription. If you have the Fallout First subscription, you will be able to claim uh, the Brotherhood of Steel as soon as you reach rank 35. For 35, we've got per cards, man. <laughs> Alright, so let me give you a review. And there's a couple of things. I, I've built it out and I think there might be some issues with it, though. Uh, so let's just begin. So essentially I also pre-built uh, a few buildings of uh, Brotherhood of Steel that we got, like this one right uh, here, which was a reward from Season 2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then I've also purchased uh, the Brotherhood of Steel content bundle, and we have this building right here. I still yet to purchase the uh, Brotherhood of Steel Armory, but I think I will because I want to test something out with the doors because it looks like we do not have the doors for this specific uh, Brotherhood of Steel kit. Although the funny part is, I do have a couple of matching doors, uh, but they don't fit. I'll show you that a little bit later. At the moment, let's take a look at what we got. So essentially, if you've played and you already owned kits, so you get a uh, like a door. Uh, well, basically, you'll need to go to your um, where is it wall decor section, right? And over here, you'll scroll down and you'll find the first is to be the entrance door, right? So that's the first uh, part. Then we got the wall, as you can see it over here on both sides over here, right? Then we've got the sort of window thingy, like I wouldn't even call it a window. Maybe it's, it would look like a window cell or something, you know, prison. <laughs> and then we got this uh, interesting uh, sort of like um, window, which I thought maybe, you know, like any other, like we have wood uh, windows and you can actually interact with those. So as to bring up as an example, uh, let me build the very basic bam see bam and you interact with it and it opens right so I thought it was gonna be working the same but it looks like it's not so you cannot interact with this you can not make those sliders kind of move in order to see so does the spice if you're watching you might want to make a edit to this specific wall type all right so after that we've got uh, the smaller components such as this thing right here I've built it over there so it's kinda smaller although I haven't interacted with it can it move? no I can't so it's like a metal shield door or whatever alright then we got the smaller block right here of the big wall okay. and that's it then if we scroll down we have these pieces which I've never used I'm not a professional cam builder so have in mind that you have this like in any other kits like with the for example the glass one that we got from season two okay then we got this part which I haven't used because once again I'm not a professional builder then we got these parts which I've built see some of them I can stack over there so there we go kinda makes it look funny <laughs> hey how about hey whatever Anyway, so these parts and these parts. So basically the default. Uh, then we've got the roofs. So we got three types of roofs. Like for example, with glass, we got only this one and this one, right? With Brotherhood of Steel, we got this option, this option, and this option. So over here, I built uh, this option and this option, right? So it's like, kind of like that and like that which kind of makes my roof look alright I guess <laughs> and in this small building I've built it 
uh, like in a square, so it has a pretty good roof, I would say. Alright, so jump. So you see it from the top. Alright, there we go. So that's how it is from the top. So I got a phone ringing. You know, when wifey calls, you better pick up that phone, man. <laughs> Alright, so that's the roof that we get. Uh, so you can see it over here. The sun looks pretty cool on it. And that's the other roof that you get. And by the way, you get these pretty cool stones sticking out. That's cool. I like that. Alright, let's go to take a bigger angle to take a look at the roofs. And then we'll get to the doors, because the doors is the funniest one. Alright, so there we go. Remove that. That's what we get. And that's what we get over there in regards to the roofs. By the way, a quick thing that I want to take a look, if you don't mind, is scoreboard. Um, interact. So there we go. We got a couple of screenshots over here that we can take a look. And yeah, it looks like the door is not included. They're not even showing it here. But, like, logically, logically, the door that we got for this one, right, should fit into this one, no? But, this is what we got, basically. Let's go to the doors. Although it does look like, you know, it takes all of these stupid random doors. Right? So, over here. But, it really sucks that you can't place this door. The Brotherhood of Steel door, right? Like, could have made, like, a specific uh, door of Brotherhood of Steel, whatever. Kind of, bam, you know? I know it drains electricity, maybe kind of like, I don't know, make a, a pump sticking out so we can wire it or something. Because essentially we end up using the regular doors with this specific cool entrance. I mean, there are doors that you can find that could work. Like, the secret door doesn't work this way, uh, but it will work this way. Kind of dumb, don't you think? So that's what we got, bam. It doesn't work this way because, I believe, because of this thing that is sticking out. Right? So it's kind of dumb. So yeah. Bethesda, please give us a door. <laughs> Same goes for this one, right? You, you gotta put it the other way around. Armory, the other way around. Armory is actually looking pretty good. But still, this, is, this should be the entrance, right? So it should look something nice. Something like this. Boom. right so having a brotherhood steel door would be really nice well, this is this is the door for this thing right here all right the vault by the way works for some reason and it actually kind of clips through but it works who cares <laughs> you could use this door actually it looks nice also the laser grid door is also pretty cool I'm not sure if you bought this one but there we go it's a really nice. By the way, the cool trick about this door is that you can fit another door and have laser grids. So, for example, let's play something, something cool. There you go. Boom. So we got this steel door, security door, right? And we got the lasers. So if you turn on the lasers, boom. Oh, the door closed from the other side. That's dumb. Anyway, bam. Urgh. Although it's hard to maneuver this thing. Alright, laser and security door, right? By the way, you can lock them both. It's just a quick tip in case if you have it but you don't know about it. So you lock the laser and you lock this door. So if somebody wants to get into this building, he will need to kind of like hack in twice. <laughs> don't give him that easy way in, huh? <laughs> There you go. Looks good. Alright, but as I said, a Brotherhood Steel Door would be a really nice addition to this kit, which is not included. I mean, I've searched all of the doors, and it's definitely not here, but if you want to bear with me, I'll 
resume all of the doors and we'll look at it together if you want but I did kind of sc scroll through and nothing was here this door looks alright what else we have here too bad I can't put this door that would be cool this door don't work with that so not all doors fit into this thing although I think some doors will fit from the other side but not all like because they don't match <laughs> cowboy man style door low with some high tech <laughs> down technology down, down upgrade man <laughs> alright so yeah that's pretty much it what I wanted to mention turns out I'm not going to be buying the armory right now or maybe I will to make a review for it let me know if you want to get a review for the armory thing and then I'll uh, get it but I'm not gonna get the bundle. Essentially, man, this kit is pretty cool. I mean, it's cool. I gotta admit, it's cool. The only shame about it, it's locked behind uh, Fallout 76, uh, Fallout First subscription, right? Because, like, for the example, the glass door was available like on Reward 98 or 99. I don't remember. And I feel like this thing should have been also available for everybody. Because um, I think this is one of the most wanted especially by the Brotherhood of Steel uh, fans right and uh, they will not be able to get it just because they simply don't have the follow for subscription although uh, if you claim it you will be able to claim the kit use the subscription for a month cancel it and, ha and still have access to this kit so if you cancel the follow first uh, next month you'll still be able to use it as far as I know though so I mean it works with uh, follows like the outfits so with some items it does work so have that in mind just in case if you decide to do this I would still recommend to contact uh, Bethesda uh, before you do anything before you buy the uh, invest your money into follow first and then you get disappointed right we don't want that and essentially with uh, Bethesda not being logical like honestly speaking right anything is possible like I also received comments that if you progress through the scoreboard by the way, I'd like to point out that I'm not sure if that's the case, but the thing is, if you, for example, get to rank 100, and then you kind of decide to, okay, you know what, uh, let me go ahead and get this follow first so I can claim all these rewards, right? Uh, some people said they were not able to do that in the previous uh, seasons, so I have that in mind. And once again, I don't know if that's uh, legit or not, legit info or not. So if you are a person who did upgrade to follow first and question to you were you avail like were, did you have the ability to claim these follow first items uh, once after your purchase and also comment if you canceled your subscription and you still have access to these please do because I own a follow first yearly subscription so I won't be able to test it out myself uh, nor do I want to buy the follow first subscription you know second time second time I don't think that's possible. Anyway, so I would still recommend to contact the Bethesda team and double check with, you know, kind of like your questions. Uh, but in logically, the way it should work in a normal world is that if you, for example, progress to rank 100 and you buy the subscription, you should be able to claim the rewards. Then uh, once you end the subscription, you still should have access to these specific items. Like, as an example, you will not have access to a skin such as for the tent, right? So if you go to follow first, for example, for these tents, you will lose access because once you end your follow first subscription, you don't have access to the tent, meaning you can't build a tent, meaning you don't have access to these skins. That's pretty much it. Everything else, when I canceled my subscription, I was able to use. So was, I was able to use the skins for the armor. I was able to craft my... Uh, buildings I was able to craft my under armor uh, outfits everything I had access to so uh, I, I remember like this year like for three months three weeks I didn't have follow first subscription if you remember when I got really pissed at Bethesda and I didn't want it but then I upgraded to a year again <laughs> so yeah that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to mention I hope you've uh, enjoyed this review and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below Please make sure not to use profanity. 
as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. Simple as that. If you have some positive, negative feedback, you're always more than welcome to uh, provide the feedback. Just don't swear, and people will be able to read your comments and will be able to react. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future.